why can't Beyonce sell merchandise? At first, I thought Jason Lee was being a hater because he always tries to throw some slick comments in there about Beyonce because he's salty about he spent $40,000 on some tickets, blah, blah, blah. But he does have a good point, and he's not the only one that I've seen say this. So I want to go ahead and play what Jason Lee says, and let, then let's go ahead and talk about it. This this morning, before I even knew I was going to talk about this today, and I don't mean this in a bad way. I don't even really know how to explain how I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Because I still love her. I'm just not in love with her like I used to be. That's the nicest way I can say it. Only mm -hmm. because I'm annoyed by how fake she comes off. Mm -hmm. Her brand, not her. Mm -hmm. I don't think Beyonce is fake. Just like I don't think Kamala Harris is a bad person. But sometimes your team can make you move in a way that does not translate well. And as I become deeper into both the culture, pop culture, celebrity culture, this and that, have looked at the whole world, I kind of have a better sense on what's real and authentic and true and what's kind of manufactured. Does this make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. Beyonce is hands down one of the best singer performers ever. Not just of this generation, of any time, of all times. And I love her. And we, I mean, I traveled all over to shows. You don't know, know I spent $40,000 buying tickets to go see this girl. I love her. But y'all got to hear her selling whiskey now, hair care products, a perfume that she did one post about and none of us have talked about. That perfume has come and gone. I don't know if it smells like Raid or if it smells like Killian or what it smells like. Because nobody. Do you have the Clump perfume? Have you bought the perfume? Have you bought Fenty? Yes. Have you bought Fenty? I'm wearing Fenty. Me too. I'm just saying. It's like, you know what I'm saying so far? Like, mm -hmm. Beyonce is a singer, performer. She's not a brand. <clears throat> and more recently, because they're treating her brand like a flea market, like you can go there and find everything now. It's like, what am I doing? How, House of Darion, you want me to buy clothes named after your grandma? Hair care line where you're putting it on wigs? Then it's whiskey. We didn't even know you drank. We know you should drink champagne, but whiskey? Anyway, so that's how I'm feeling. I want Beyonce to be the queen mother of music. Like, that is what she did. You just can't sell nothing else. When Kanye left Adidas, they took your line, Ivy Park, they, took, they parked it right up out of there in an Ivy League way, straight out. Um, you can't sell anything other than that. You need to drop a floral line because you always send in white flowers to people. Maybe you drop a floral line. I don't know. I just don't see anything for you other than music. And I don't think the world is ready for you to do anything but sing, dance, and go away and be a mom and a wife. She built the whole brand off of posting on Instagram with no captions. Now all of a sudden we're watching her wash her hair. I, when, when I saw her washing her hair the other day, it made me kind of sad because it's like you built yourself up to buy the, be this unicorn and now you want to be human? We're not accepting that, right? Right? He don't want to say it because he's afraid y'all going to send pizzas to his house. Every time I say something <laughs> crazy, he gets attacked. But this is true. Beyonce is a phenomenal singer, artist, the best ever. She is a horrible, horrible horrible brand one you need to fire your publicist Yvette no short she's been with you for 59,000 years and it's time for you to move on you got rid of Kim Burst she moved over to JLo then you got somebody different you got rid of Frank Gatson you got a different choreographer you know you have turned over everybody in your team but your publicist and right now your brand is not landing because you have a publicist who I love loved but she's of a particular decade that is still very much like she could do anything, or you could do anything because you're being. No, no, that is not how the world of social media works. You know that better than anybody. Um, and I love you, Beyonce, but nobody's going to tell you. It's sort of like you in the room and everybody had the meeting but you. I'm just telling you what was said at the meeting. <clears throat> well, that also applies. It does seem if it's not music, Beyonce cannot sell it. Now, I know she has said her hair care line has gotten many awards and accolades, but I mean, it just came out earlier this year, so how well is it actually doing? And I actually try to look up articles that show like, you know, as far as sales, how well it's doing. I've not been able to find that information. If it's not coming from Miss Tina, the sacred Instagram or Beyonce herself, I don't see it in any kind of article or any kind of online publication. I don't see it at all. So I'm not going to say that it's not successful, but Beyonce has done a fashion line, the House of Derriere, and that didn't really go anywhere too. There's the perfume that she had during the Renaissance tour and 
we don't see that anymore. So it's like Beyonce tries to be more personable, but it just doesn't connect with the people. And granted, she loves living a private life. She even said this in GQ magazine. Beyonce said this about her private life. One thing I've worked extremely hard on is making sure my kids can have as much normalcy and privacy as possible. Ensure my personal life isn't turned into a brand. It's very easy for celebrities to turn our lives into performance art. I have made an extreme effort to stay true to my boundaries and protect myself and my family. No amount of money is worth my peace. I understand Beyonce wants to be private, but even with that sentiment, with her video, her most recent video, where she was using her sacred products, she was talking about, yeah, I love to use this and put this in my hair. And you've seen her a few times, you know, put some kind of shampoo or conditioner in her hair, but there was someone actually doing her hair. So it's all like, Beyonce, are you just pretending like you do your own hair? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't look relatable at all. It just looks like literally she's trying to tell us how great this product is, but this is her own product. This is something that she believes in. She's not trying to sell us, you know, some other company's product. It's her product and she claims that she uses it, but we don't really see her using it. We see that she might, you know, rub the shampoo or something in her hair a couple of seconds, but there's somebody actually doing her hair. Like if she wants to be more relatable, we should see her doing Blue's hair or her other children children's hair, not her having her stylist do her hair and she's barely even doing anything. It's not relatable to the public. And mind you, I'm bald, so I can't really talk about anybody here. Just like, for example, her Sir Davis, she's selling whiskey. Do we know her to really drink whiskey? I've never really heard her talk about whiskey. Now, I know she has a country album, you know, Cowboy Carter. And in the country world, they talk about whiskey. So maybe that's why she decided to do it. But I thought she drank like champagne or something. Like, when did she start drinking whiskey? That gives you chest hair, you know? Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in any of Beyonce's other business ventures besides music.